This is a, a wisdom of the previous Lubavitcher Rebbe, of Yosef Yitzchak. And he is saying, my grandfather, his grandfather was the fourth Rebbe of Chabad. He himself was the sixth Rebbe of Chabad, and his grandfather was the fourth Rebbe of Chabad. He said in reference to Hit Bonanut. Hit Bonanut. In, in Chabad, there's a thing called Hit Bonanut. Hit Bonanut means <coughs> contemplating, thinking deeply. <coughs> there's others like Breslov, they, they stress Hit Bonanut, to be alone. You go alone. And Hit Bonanut is a little bit different than that. In fact, it's a lot different. Hit Bonanut means that you contemplate very deeply <coughs> If God exists or he doesn't exist. And if you feel that God does exist, then what does that mean that God exists? Where does he exist? How does he exist? And when you start to realize that God does exist and that God really exists and that God is creating me, so then you start to realize one, so, one second, I was, before I was doing the thinking, I was the boss. Now God is the boss. And you start thinking deeply. <clears throat> deeper about this and then you start to realize one second with the Jews God took them out of Egypt so that's a whole different type of God and then God gave them the Torah and the Torah is very complicated that's another different look at that. And God's going to bring Mashiach and, and God cares about what we do and God reacts to what we do all of this is totally incomprehensible and we have a commandment to try to understand it that's the motto of Judaism Shema Yisrael means Shema understand. It's the motto of Judaism that we must understand as much as possible about God. But understanding God is not like understanding a mathematical problem. It's something outside of us. It's something deeply inside of us as well. It's our who we are. And that requires heat bonanu. We have to contemplate deeply about what really is reality. You have to profoundly, profoundly, deeply concentrate and contemplate on a subject which is very difficult to understand. <clears throat> okay, what's the secret of doing it? How do you do it? If the subject is a deep personal concern, then the person will come to understand and comprehend it very well. <clears throat> The proof of this is in the Torah and the laws involving women and the amazing, incredible, genius arguments that women can put forth on their own behalf. Now, women are not generally uh, connected with deep, con deep, complicated understanding. At least they're not commanded to. Men are commanded to learn the Torah. And the Torah is very, very, very complicated. There's the simple Shulchan Aruch that just tells you what to do. That's not as complicated. It's also a bit complicated, but not so much. Exactly where you should put the tefillin, exactly when Shabbat comes in. Said. But to learn the Talmud and all the different ideas in the Talmud and all the sources of these laws, it's very difficult, right? Very difficult. And we have to understand and you, you have to use your mind sometimes to understand fine, fine differences between one thing and another in order to come to a law. Women are not com compelled, they're not commanded to do that. But nevertheless, some of the deepest ideas that are discussed in most, what does she mean by this this, are by women. Why? Because the arguments are discussed by the Tanayim, the Amorayim, the Gaonim, these exceptionally brilliant and deep minds and the Torah is the Torah of truth. So if so, these people are trying to achieve truth, which only the women seem to comprehend easily. And these genius people, why? Because the woman, even though she's far removed intellectually from being able to devise such genius ideas, but the truth is when it's of deep concern to that person, if the woman really cares, let's say her marriage is at stake or whatever, as a deacon, then even those of weak intellect will come up with profound concepts. So what's the Rebbe trying to tell you? He's not trying to, to say something about women or making judgments. The Rebbe is trying to say, you want to think about God. In regard to God, we are simple, the most simple simpletons that can possibly be. But nevertheless, if it's important to us, then we can think deeply about it. So find some aspect of life that's really very important to you and ask yourself, how is God connected to this? 
How is God more real than money? How could it possibly be? And when that comes, the idea becomes meaningful to you and real to you, then you can think very deeply about it and, and at long length. That's what, so the secret of Hid Bonanut is that it has to be something that which is in, you have to think about something which is important to you. If it's important to you, then you can think about it for long times. Okay, next we have a story. <clears throat> 